it you know i just didn't expect it because i thought everything would be smooth no be visa they apply for now madonna's job i just want to give a special shout out to my friend his name is kinsley he's back in nigeria and Kinsley, I just want to let you know that you've been an amazing friend. Kinsley has not been feeling fine for a while now, and I just want you guys to please put him in your prayers. It's not too much to ask for. Just put Kinsley in your prayers, right? He's been he's been really sick for a long time. And Kinsley, if you're watching this video, because I know you watch all my videos, so you watch this one. If you're watching this video, I just want you to know that you are healed in Jesus' name, and don't worry, everything is going to be fine. So I guess it's safe to say I'm dedicating this video to you hmm? because at the end of this video I overcame the struggles so you are going to overcome your struggles too, okay? Welcome back guys uh, If you are a returning subscriber, if you're new to my channel Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, my name is Jessica and I am new in Canada, Vancouver to be specific. I'm a new YouTuber also. Welcome to the family, to the community. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, thank you for also watching my previous videos. Thank you for subscribing, for the likes and the shares and the comments. I see everything and I really appreciate. Um, as you can see, I'm so lit. I'm solemn today because from the topic of discussion in this video, this video is going to be talking about first heartbreak in Canada, looking for a job. Yeah, so let's begin. So guys, um, what should I talk about first? The job, the struggles of getting a job as an international student or let's start with my first heartbreak in Canada. Um, I was, I, I didn't expect it, you know, I just didn't expect it because I thought everything would be smooth Psych! And good, but apparently not Have you guys heard of tax? It's a serious thing in Canada <sighs> Yeah, so my first heartbreak is tax Nobody told me that when I come here, every little thing I get is going to be taxed. If you get this pen for a dollar, you might say you're getting just this pen, a dollar. By the time you get to the counter, you think you're going to pay a dollar. Well, you'll be paying, you'll be paying more than a dollar. You might pay a dollar and point zero five cents, however, however the case may be. Um... <laughs> like I brought receipts for you guys. I have my book. <laughs> so in in BC, because I'm in BC, I'm just gonna talk about BC. In BC, um the Canadian sales tax include GST, which is goods and service tax, and PST, which is provincial sales tax. Now the GST applies to most goods and services made in Canada and it is charged at a rate of 5%. The PST is a retail sales tax that is taxable when it tax that is payable when a taxable good or service is acquired for personal or business use. And the PST tax is charged at a rate of 7%. So together, whatever, is a combination. That's 12%. Okay. This receipt. Now, let me just list out the things that I got. I decided to look for a receipt that I didn't get so much. So I can explain to you. I got a pudding. A pudding I would have showed you, but... A pudding costs one dollar. Um, onion rings, it's a biscuit, one point two seven dollar. Glued blasting freeze, I can't remember what this is, five dollar point nine seven. And I got milk, 
um, a dollar point nine seven. I got what four items and this cost me ten dollar point twenty one cent. My brothers and sisters, you think you're gonna pay ten point twenty one, but no, you're not paying that. Five percent GST of ten point twenty one. 0.36 7% 0 0.42 So I think it is 12% of whatever um, your subtotal is So at the end of the day instead of paying 10.21 I'm paying 10.99 I don't know how you guys that have been living here for years have been you know doing it because I can't get my head off it like I can't I still can't wrap my head around it and I feel I don't know much about it so I don't know if it's okay for me to say I feel it's unnecessary like why not include the tax in the product already so that if I know I'm going to the counter to get this pen for five dollar I know it's five dollar I'm going to pay and not when I get to the counter you break down GST tax PST tax and then I'm paying you know more than five dollar like, come on, nobody needs to know that. Yeah, your people, the citizens need to know they are paying for tax or their, their products are taxed. But then, like, just include it in the product price already. So, if I cannot afford it, I want to go left. I want to go right. Left and right. Anywhere. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, um, that's a shocker. That's one thing that shocked me coming into Canada because I did not know that. So prepared you are going to be seeing yeah, everything you buy is going to be taxed at the end yeah. um apparently i saw on google tax exemptions include unprocessed foods restaurants motor fuel children's clothes and footwear goods purchased for resale or exports goods used in manufacturing or production of an end use product legal services massage therapy vitamins repair services and taxes so these are the goods and services that are not taxed okay i just say let me tell you people i just say let me let you guys know for those of you that are coming to canada just you know hey <laughs> Have an open mind that this is what you're gonna see because i didn't know this before coming here and it was quite a shocker for me and i don't like it i don't like it you know hi thanks it showed me pepe <laughs> okay so let's move on um what are we going to talk about next looking for a job the struggle as an international student my god um yo when I first came in, you know, I I, I, I was sending out um, applications with my previous um, CV from Nigeria. But that's our sisters. Trash that thing. No, don't trash it totally. Like, oh, sorry. Why I said trash it is I meant you need to tailor your CV to the Canadian style. Right, so do your research, go on Google, go on YouTube. I actually have had a friend, you know, that even helped me with my own CV, try to tailor it to the Canadian system. So you need to do that for them to attend to you. If not, nothing's going to happen, right? And I noticed that Canadians have a flair for networking. You know, you have to try and network. You have to, you have to put yourself out there so in this country if you want something you have to put yourself out there you know you have to be seen you have to be visible um so i've been applying for jobs my god i've never applied for jobs this much even in nigeria i didn't apply for jobs this much i'm not even gonna lie at some point i started going you know to places like to the shops or to wherever i say i want to apply so i don't know if it's okay for me to call brand names but for example if i want to apply to walmart for example i have to go to walmart and say hi i'm for a job blah 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 here my cv yo when i first came i was shy i couldn't say shit it was actually they put hot pounded yam in my mouth like <laughs> i couldn't say shit you know sometimes when i even do that i always go with like your friend and you know my friend was always helping the one helping me to talk and I'll just be there like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, make them call me, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you, I have to come out of my shell. So 
you know just try and prepare before coming you need to come out of your shell because at some point it will drag you to you know want to go make that move go out there and drop your cv this is the real go out there and drop your cv you know so eventually after what now i think it was like a month of searching for a job i got okay this particular job i got this in like what three weeks i guess it's a marketing job it was meant to be a remote job i must always return to the business over time so yeah i think i would be good okay thank you very much guys i actually got this job like no jokes but you know <laughs> it's a marketing job and i'm not really quite understanding the grammars they are speaking yet <laughs> i sound silly but you know it's a marketing job I, I don't really like marketing jobs like that but you know i'm open to try it out let's see how it goes they didn't even ask me too much or rather the lady didn't even ask me too much questions you know i was like ah you see how it's so easy to get a job here you know but and it's going to be remote work you don't need to go to the office or anywhere for that so yeah i have like uh i think she said three days training yeah then we can now do what we have to do so we'll see and the pay is above minimum wage so what are we talking about let me use this one and hold belly first you know so <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> you know, like I told myself I couldn't just do it. Like what? So this company they make knives. That's their main product. Knives is their main product. Uh, they make other things. They make other cooking um, wares. But knives are what they basically sell. Do you know the the knives go as far as like one knife can cost you hundred dollar. For a knife. Ah. And you want me to sell it to who? How? How many people do I need in Canada? Like, you know, it's the way it works. You know how you work per hour and they pay you per hour. This one is not like that too. They pay you per the client. So say for this week you called five people. You're able to place a call to five people or go out there and talk to five people and you have to get their contact you have to get their details to be able to put in the system that yes to verify that okay yes you actually did something you know at first i'm never going to lie i was using my friends okay i would actually talk to them about the product but deep down i knew nobody was gonna buy what like a set of knife can go for a thousand bucks house rent is what you want me to use and buy a set of knives so a while and now you know so i i was using my friends you know um i would explain to them okay this is it too after you won't buy a b you know go buy yeah i was just using it to like hold myself like at least i knew that because they said regardless of whether they buy or not they will still pay you so at that time it was like 18 dollars so if i if i could get five people this week 18 times five it's still something right um, more i had to now intensify like after like two weeks of doing it i'm like bah, no, i can't even i had to shout, intensify my looking for a job and yo like i still have to go out like yo hmm. it's not easy yo. they'll be asking you for experience and definitely like experience where do you want me to get canadian experience bro i'm just coming into the country give me a chance where's the experience going to come from you want me to lie where the experience is come from like i already have experience from nigeria and whatever i did and you know as an international student you can only work 20 hours per week so you are sort of limited to certain type of jobs you know don't let me call the type of jobs but we understand the type of jobs you're limited to and some of these jobs back in nigeria are not jobs you just go out there to go do no offense to the people doing them there's really nothing wrong with those jobs for me personally i didn't even do those type of jobs in nigeria right so i didn't understand how you know it works i just had to okay well, with my with what i did in nigeria um try and gather um the skills you know and all of that yo for interviews hi <sighs> let me tell you about one i went to this mcdonald's job for this mcdonald's job 
if you see questions where they yo like i went for like two mcdonald's interview even the first one like i didn't even know it was not in vancouver it was in port modi i was like as we were going you know we're going i'm like ah, the journey no one end what's happened like i had to wake up really early that morning to go for that interview i'm like i just paid foul only for me to realize welcome to port modi you say like i can't they fear i don't leave vancouver like i probably yeah i've left vancouver like but when i was going i'm like have i left canada you know because it was far so guys hmm pray for me pray for me that i get the job i'm currently at the bus stop and i'm waiting for my bus and it's going to take from where i am it's going to take like 42 minutes to get to my location i'm shaking because they shake it choke Because it was far up or moody, they were like, Oh, but we need someone coming in by 6 a.m. How are you going to do it? Bro, like, do you want me to be leaving my house by 3 o'clock because I'm gonna come for 6 a.m.? I don't know. Ah, it's not that deep. Come on. The Lord will show me, we give me a job at the right time. Eh? It's not that deep. So, you know, they even told me, Oh, that they will send my CV to, you know, a different place, somewhere closer to me. So then, yeah, I got another interview and uh see questions because no be visa they apply for now mcdonald's job yeah hey <laughs> give you scenario based questions how are you going to handle this how would you do this this that like yo well, you know i came prepared right i came prepared you know i already did my research on possible questions and you know like i was even surprised like okay okay i'm answering these questions really good right actually got that mcdonald's job but they needed people for night time my dear uh, i couldn't do it i couldn't do it i planned. i'm going for an interview and i'm pretty excited i'm scared at the same time i just really hope i'm not missing my way <laughs> ah wow guys guess what i got the job i don't want to scream but i got the job and i'm so excited and grateful to god first job in canada at least i can rest from you know trying to look for a job hmm. we're going to see what's going to happen the lord that answered my prayer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it will be my god the lord that answered my prayer it will be my god the lord that answered my prayer it will be my God. How? Mmm. The Lord don't answer my prayer. It will be my God. The Lord don't answer my prayer. It will be my. It will be my. Guys, I'm just excited, right? Mm hmm. Job. Eventually, your brothers and sisters, after all the struggles, after all looking for a job, like at some point I was I was so worried, I was so bothered. I finally got a job. And it's in a grocery shop. It's 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 a grocery shop like Walmart, but it's not as big as Walmart because they are still relatively new. So I said, let me show you guys what I do. This is my current job and I'm a grocery stocker in this um, grocery shop. So yeah, this is what I basically do, you know, when I go to work, stock up the places. <laughs> so I load up my cart um, from the back room and basically move from aisle to aisle and stock up products on the shelves.
you guys so much for watching my video um please subscribe like and share and my next video is going to be about accommodation finding you know accommodation here in vancouver bc so stay tuned thank you